everyone, it's Maddie. And V, and today we are going on a book hunt since you loved that so much the last time. It's been ages since we've gone to any bookshop, so we're really excited. We're going to hit up one of our local supermarkets and go to Book Barn again. So we've made it to the Asda, and this is their book section, <laughs> the Jacqueline Wilson section, though I'm not sure we need to buy any of these at this point. <laughs> this is more middle grade, and this is the YA. Even realize that this was out, but it's really cute. Love the pinky colorway. There's one rogue, there's someone inside your house. So, Astor was a bit of a bust. Yep. They didn't really have anything interesting that we wanted. They did have one dark throw one, mm. but I haven't decided whether I want to continue on with this series so far. It's a no. I love that they're organizing books by color. It's the pink section. Oh, I'm gonna count how many Daniel Steele books we come across <laughs> because there's there no always loads. Thousands. <laughs> Sorted fiction section. Oh, fantasy. That for a pound? Insane. <laughs> How many pence per pages is that? <laughs> Some cool older covers. <laughs> They've got a Star Trek section. The last time we came here we were looking for Philippa Gregory books. We had to buy the other Berlinga and that was like the only one they had here but luckily that was the one on our uni course so we did get that one last time but I really wanted the Cousins War series because that's all about the Wars of the Roses and leading up to Henry Tudor and we studied that at A level and it was my favourite thing. I really love these monarchs so I really wanted to find this series. So first in the series is The White Queen then the Red Queen, then the Lady of the Rivers, which I think is almost a spin-off series, or like a spin-off book, I guess. They look really nice together. Yeah, they're all really pretty. Um, and then the White Princess, which is obviously about the daughter of the White Queen. Don't they have a TV series based yeah. on these? So maybe we'll try and find that one day. All the, all the moss <laughs> that we already have. <laughs> We've got those. I saw on their website before we came that um, the book barn supplies books as props or stages. Um, oh, cool. Um, like showrooms and Ikea and things like that. Um, so that's probably why all these shelves are empty because they're like somewhere on stage. The one Agatha Christie they happen to have is our favourite one. That's really good. trip to Bookbarn we waited a couple of weeks and then decided to hit up our local Waterstones. Our aim was to pick out books we heard nothing about and here's how we got on. Are you just going to move through everything alphabetically? So like if I take these two shelves and you take those two shelves maybe? Yeah okay I'll try and find something. Renee Addy Ames? Yeah start. start there. Okay well I have <laughs> Got that. it? I feel like this one I kind of want to do uh, a try a chapter four because mm. I've heard some bad things. Yeah. Though. Um, which is why I didn't pick it up when it first came out. But that look. The Jennifer Almond Trout, no one's heard of. Led by Surgery Mask, which seems like an odd pick, but guess what her name is, the main character? Classic YA name. Amy. No, classic YA name. Vivian. Well, it's a throwback to an old favourite name. What is it? Lena. We've been looking at this one, haven't we? The Future, yeah, the future of Us. Us. I think it's a dual POV one. Yeah, because it's co-authored, so I'm going to take this one out because we have seen it before and wanted it. Never heard of this one before, so... Let's read the back. Oh, actually, I think this is a sequel. Okay. <laughs> back it goes. This was one that was on a Kindle Daily deal that we forgot to buy when it was only 99p, but it's pretty gorgeous because it's got these teal sprayed edges and nice gold on the foil. Two girls, two worlds, one throne. Okay, so that sounds like a classic fantasy of 2017, yeah. really. Two girls have never met, but they're bound together by a spell, by the boy they both love, by an ancient prophecy foretelling the next Queen of the Witches. on to the third shelf now and there's a lot like there seems to be a big series on each shelf which means we're down to like five. <laughs> What's that cruel heartbroken one? <laughs> which one? Oh this there. one. Yeah. Well, I feel like I might have seen that at a library somewhere. Okay so we just found Autobiography by Christine Lauren and it looks absolutely beautiful in real life but this is actually a book that Bee bought yesterday on her Kindle for 99p so we don't have to spend 7 99 on it although this cover is really pretty yeah. so I'd love to add it to our collection but we didn't really know what it was about but it's actually about a boy who tries to write a book in four months and it has a bisexual main character so that's really exciting and hopefully be one we get to super soon. So 
Dylan is worried whether Griff is coping, but Dylan needs to be even braver than his brother. <laughs> you could just hear the hoot of the uh, Christmas, the Christmas train. train. I don't know, it's a story about brothers and I prefer sisters. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's okay. Know. What about this um, A Shiver of Snow and Sky one? Because I've seen that one on book Twitter a lot. Okay, it's a very simplistic cover. Yeah. The lights grow red because the danger is off ahead. Oh, okay. oh, a flap. <laughs> Excellent. 17 years ago, the sky turned red just as Oza was born, unleashing a plague that claimed the lives of hundreds of villagers, including her mother. This time, when the night sky once again bleeds crimson, she must discover how to stop the onslaught before so many lives are lost again. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I'm actually really drawn by that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a vibrant colour. Yeah, I don't really know what to look at on that cover. It's about two sisters, and on their 18th birthday, they compete in some sort of war child <laughs> challenge. That seems to be a real trend, having yeah. sisters fight against one another. Look at the Oh yeah, fonts. different style fonts. For maybe one per sister. Yeah. It's in a, um, a countdown narrative, which I do love, though. Yeah. So they have the Nowhere Girls here. It's about these three girls who decide to avenge a girl who I think has been sexually assaulted. Someone that they don't know, but they all team up to gain justice. And it sounds like exactly the thing I'd want to read for my dissertation. <laughs> So if we went for anything on the table, it would probably be which one, and maybe they both die at the end. Because I think those are the only two that we're interested in that we haven't read. These are the six very dark palette books that we've decided <laughs> that we're interested in reading and that we've probably never heard about. In the end, we came away with five books. We're going to buy one on Kindle and then we're getting two used and new. First, we picked up Hole in the Middle by Kendra Fortmeyer. And this was kind of cheating because I'd read the first chapter in a dry chapter video and I really loved it. So I knew I didn't want to leave this one behind, but Maggie hadn't read it. So it's kind of a half point maybe. Next, we picked up The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. And since buying it, I've seen a lot more book reviewers and just buzz about this one so I'm really excited to get to it. Next we picked up Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling and we'd heard about this through Chicken House's newsletter and because witches is my biggest buzzword I knew I had to pick this one up but I didn't read any reviews of it before buying. I just have to hope that the story is as good as the cover. Then we picked up They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera and again I feel like this one is cheating just because I've heard so much in the booktube community yeah. about Adam Silvera in general. We have two of his books now so maybe they'll be a candidate for our next read double. And finally we have the only book that properly counts in that we'd never heard of it before and that is A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ledecky. It reminded me a lot of The Girl of Ink and Stars by Kieran Millwood Hargrave and we're planning on reading this one over Christmas Eve. So that was our December book haul vlog. Thank you everyone so much for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Bye! Bye.